So today we're at 307 here in Sidewalk Toronto, basically just sharing what it is that we're doing, connecting with other people who are interested in creating the accessible smart city of the future. I'm really excited to be here today to be able to collaborate and share discussions with so many important people who are working every day passionately to actually solve some of the greatest accessibility issues in our cities like street crossings uh, for people who might not be able to see the signs on the streets uh, to navigational experiences within transit systems uh, or even if it's a crowdsourced movement like the one that we're building. Oftentimes we tend to have traditional approaches to accessibility but it's not always the best possible solution for the end user. So for example with Kita Access this concept of wireless pedestrian crossing is new. It's never been seen before. What we're trying to do is create an infrastructure that's going to continue to grow with cities and allow them to really you know dive into accessibility and make sure that it's a priority in their community. When we uh, work to to change the narratives of, of disability, uh, it, it gets enacted. And when people are seeing themselves in in artwork and represented, then I think it begins a dialogue that shifts what it means to to experience disability. Sidewalk Labs they have such a great reach, and they talk about. Um, city planning and I think part of that city planning has to be the responsibility of thinking about where is ingrained ableism in, in our uh, ways of navigating. So we opened a community hub at Young and St. Clair. We wanted it to be accessible so then by extension we wanted the neighborhood to be accessible. So we created a project called Shop Talk Blind Square Enabled and we put up these beacons in the neighborhood and all the shops and things like that and what they do is they talk to the, an app called Blind Square. The beacon talks to the app when you're in proximity of it and it gives an auditory description of the area. Welcome to 307 Open Sidewalk Event. Steps to entrance with railing on right. Ramp for wooden streetscape exhibit with entrance behind you. About four meters from rubber underfoot at one o'clock. CNIB table at left of ramp. And I think I found the CNIB table. What? really cool when you come here and you get to experience some of these things is it actually gives you the feeling of possibility but when you see these ideas presented and it always has this vibe of let's make it happen I think that kind of energy is what needed is a little of injection of that for us to get excited and to think that these things are possible to be able to have everyone under one roof and talk about the opportunities for the future uh, co-hosted obviously by our friends here at Sidewalk Labs uh, in, in generating some kind of uh, discussion that can excite communities, that can ex excite the public to even just come in, uh, listen for a little while, ask questions, and see where things take us.